Hello, hello everyone. This is Dali. I'm back from my kitchen to yours. And today, I'm gonna be giving you another international dish. And this dish is coming from Thailand. And we call this Tom Yum. But before that, I'm gonna say hello in Thai. Sawadi! Galanggal sliced thinly, an approximate of two pieces, thumb size, medium onion sliced, four cloves garlic, minced four pieces lime leaves, cherry tomato whole, shiitake mushroom, twelve pieces large shrimps, two tablespoons chili sauce, mild chopped onion spring, chopped parsley, four pieces of uh, fresh chili, sesame oil to taste, coconut vinegar to taste, and fish sauce to taste. And today, I'm gonna be featuring my Salad Master Multi-Purpose Cooker or MP5. I preheated our MP5 into 450 degrees. Okay, let's start the ball rolling. Let's saute our onion and garlic using our MP5 with a one tablespoon of extra virgin coconut oil. Very healthy because we're using extra virgin coconut oil. This is coming from the Philippines. Okay, saute the onion. Wait until it's translucent. Just cover for probably like one minute. Add the garlic. Add the shrimp. Reduce the heat to 330 degrees Fahrenheit. Cover for a few seconds. Today also the shiitake mushroom which I soaked earlier with hot water and sliced very thinly. Add the turmeric or galangal, tomato, remove the shrimp because we have to avoid overcooking of our shrimp. We just top it later after we cook everything. Let's add a little water so it will dry. This is one of my favorite dishes from Thailand. I've been to Thailand twice and it's a really nice place and we really love their food. It's time for the water or broth. My broth is a combination of chicken broth and shrimp shell. cover and wait till it boils before you're gonna add the other ingredients so when the vapor bulb starts clicking that's the time you're gonna add the rest of the ingredients and season it with patis with sesame oil and coconut vinegar make sure it's sealed turn it like twice again wait until the vapor bulb starts making a noise starts clicking Now it's time to open our MP5, my queen in the kitchen. This is one of my best Salad Master cookwares. And we have to add our lemongrass, our lime leaves, and we have an optional ingredient, star anise, two pieces, our fresh chili, and our chili sauce, medium. And then season with fish sauce. Not a lot. Adjust me lang kung if you think kulang sa inyong panlasa. So it's your preference if you want a little salty or just bland. Just like what I am doing, I have a bland taste. And add coconut vinegar which came from the Philippines shipped to America. I really love this Saint brand of coconut vinegar. And then just to give a more Asian flavor, just a few drops of sesame oil that would complete our Asian cuisine. We will just adjust later. Pino one usa kung tama taste. 
a little of patis. Yes, a little. Okay. And then wait for a few minutes. Try to check again if you attain the desired taste. And that's perfect. Make sure that the ring here or the brim here is clean. Alright, after five minutes, we're gonna check for the final cooking. So let's add our shrimp. I'm holding the shrimp because if you will cook it together with the other ingredients, it's no good. Magraba rice and shrimp, which is not really good for a certain dish. If it's an overcooked shrimp, no way. And taste. Wow. Really very Asian, really very tight. It's a little bit spicy because of the chili sauce and the fresh chili. Okay, just one minute or two minutes will do. Then we'll go for the plating and tikiman time. Wellness through healthy food preparation prevents us from getting sick. Salad Master Cookware is a healthy cookware. It is made of 316 titanium stainless steel, pure, clean, non-toxic cookware, and it has a limited lifetime warranty. Okay, it's done. We have to turn off the probe or our MP5 and then let's go plating for the tikima time. Oops, oh, not vacuum. Oh, la la. Oh, there you go. Ooh, so yummy. Okay, plating time. So when plating, pwede din niya asama ang turmeric. Just leave behind the lime leaves and the star anise and the lemongrass. Just leave it behind. Wow, shrimps overload. Dummy shrimps. So this is a good comfort food. Pag nagmamadali. As long as you have your ready-made or homemade chicken broth. So my version of my broth is a combination of the shrimps or shells from shrimps and chicken. And of course, our parsley, fresh parsley from the garden. And fresh onion spring from the garden too. Here is our tom yum soup. She's really delicious. Now it's the kima time. So you have to taste it. And I know it's really good. Very good, very good, and very good. I have my own soup bowl here. The kima time. That's not. Mm. It's not salty because I want it blend. I can distinguish the taste like the lemongrass, the turmeric, it's present. The seafood taste, it's from the shrimp and the shell from the shrimp. And the taste from the chitake mushroom. Very good, it's very good. Wow! I tell you, it's really, really very good. You see the one your Asian. If you are really pleased with the food, you've got to sip it with a sound like and we say ah. So your host or your hostess will really be glad. It means that they love the food that they prepared for you. So this is how the way how you sip the soup. And this rip. Mmm, very soft. 
it's not properly because we pre-cook it beforehand and then just top it before we end the cooking. This is good for one meal, healthy one meal for the day. And once again, nagtatapos po tayo muli sa isang napaka-healthy episode, Cooking with Dali. And I gave you an international dish straight from Thailand, Tom Yum. Masarap dahil it's very healthy. And it's also healthy because most of the ingredients are coming from the garden from my backyard. So, maraming salamat po sa patuloy niyo na pagpatronize sa ating channel. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you po. And in Thai, we say in Thai, <laughs> Kakakun. Thank you once again, Kakakun.